It's homework time! Yes! Here we go again. Lesson four. Let's start out in the right way. Jotting our names down at the top of the paper. I'll write my name, you write yours. Don't skip this step. It's important, especially if you hand this stuff in. Date. Today is today, man. Always. You write the actual date, though. Our instructions are question 1A. What is the length of the shaded part of the meter stick in centimeters? So this is one meter. One meter. Picture that meter stick. So how many parts are there in all? Yeah, 10. How many are shaded? Three out of 10. So it is three tenths of a meter, right? Okay, but now that's not the question. The question is in centimeters. So it's three tenths of a meter. So how many centimeters in a meter? So one meter is 100 centimeters, which means that each of these 10 parts is how many centimeters? Yes, it's 10. So this is 10, 10, and 10, if we kept going, it would add up to 100, right? So how many centimeters is that? It is 10, 20, 30, 30 centimeters. Okay, what fraction of a meter is, now this is a totally different question. This should really not be part B. So Eureka's, that, that, this, is, this question has nothing to do with A. Hello, it should not be B. Um, so what fraction of a meter is three centimeters, not 30? Okay, see, so 30, we already know, is 3 tenths of a meter. But now they're asking us about 3 centimeters. Well, there's 100 here in all. So 3 out of 100 would be, you got it, 3 hundredths of a meter. And I'm just going to be really clear here, is 3 centimeters. Um, and another way of writing that would be, we can write this, and we haven't gotten to this yet, I know, but give you a little sneak preview. Um, we can write this in decimal form as well by simply putting a three in the hundredths place. So that's three hundredths of a meter right here, same as in fraction form. Great. Roll on. D, D, and E, you might be scratching your head and saying, hey, these are the same questions they just asked us, slightly differently phrased. Yes. In fraction form now, in part C, we're, we're have a, we have a new meter stick here. Um, we're going to express the length of the shaded portion of the meter stick. Well, I, we could tell I'm, I'm not going to count these. Neither are you, right? This is the same amount shaded here. But now we're looking, instead of at 3 tenths, there are 30 shaded in here. Um, now, how many centimeters, again, in the whole thing? Let's, uh, whoa, crazy line. Okay, how many centimeters in the whole thing? Well, there's 100 centimeters in one meter, so we have 30 out of 100 here. So in fraction form, we'd say 30 out of 100th of a meter, 30 hundredth meter. So now in decimal form, express the length of the shaded portion. So in other words, the same thing here, okay? And this is how I like to think about this. I'm going to do my, because this is a number that's less than one, so I'll do my zero decimal point. And now I'm going to write 30 hundredths, such that the 30 ends in the hundredths place. 30 hundredths. So watch, when I just simply write 30 here, that's the hundredths place, right? And so I would read this as 30 hundredths, and yes, we're talking 30 hundredths meter. What fraction of a meter is 30 centimeters? So now we're talking, we're back to fractions. 30 centimeters out of how many? Yeah, it's, it's out of 100. Now you're like, hey, we already wrote that. So we can write it like this, 30 one hundredths of a meter. And we notice, though, from part A, when we were dealing with the same thing, that this is equal to 3 tenths of a meter as well. So we can write that equivalent. There we go. Let's flow down to number two. Well, <clears throat> fill in the blanks. All right, A says, hey, five-tenths is how many hundredths, okay? So I want you to understand this. So I'm going to belabor something that you might think is uh, simple. Nonetheless, you have that forward 10-second button there. All right, so we're going to go from five-tenths 
to how many hundredths is that? Hey, this is, it is equivalent fractions. It's not only just like equivalent fractions, this is equivalent fractions. So I need to multiply by a value of one here. So 10 times what will give me hundredths? Tenths, so 10 tenths. So that's a value of one, not changing the value, just the form of the fraction. Remember all this from equivalent fractions? Five times 10 is 50. And then we ask ourselves that essential question, does this make sense that five out of 10 is the same as 50 out of 100? Think of it in terms of money. Five dimes, is that equal to 50 pennies? Five dimes is 50 cents. 50 pennies is 50 cents. They are equal, hot dog and hallelujah, 50 hundredths. And guess, look at this. Five tenths equals how many hundredths, right? Meters, but same thing, just putting it in fraction form here. So yes, it's still 50 hundredths. Now in the next one, though, they're asking us to think based on what we just did. If five tenths equals 50 hundredths, then four tenths equals 40. The word came right out of your mouth, didn't it? Hundredths, yes because we're multiplying again by 10 tenths. You can think of it in terms of equivalent fractions. Yeah, let's go. And in three, we, we have some long and detailed instructions here. So we're gonna take a moment here and look at 3a, which has been done for us, and make sure we understand what to do on the next two. So we're gonna use this model to add. So now we're adding, okay, addition, to add the shaded parts as shown. Okay, so let's take a moment and look at that. See, one-tenth of the whole thing's a meter, divided into 10 parts. We'll ignore this for a moment, but divided into 10 parts. Okay, so one-tenth is shaded right here. So this right here, this is one-tenth of a meter, which is what we see written right here. And now this, now this is what, what takes a little bit of brain squishing. This tenth has been decomposed into hundredths. Yeah, it's been, you know, a tenth of a tenth is a hundredth. So now they didn't go through and make hundredths line, a hundred lines on, on the whole thing here, but you see, hey, this has been decomposed. So three hundredths. This is the three hundredths right here. I'm just going to draw a little arrow because that's the best way to do it, I think. And so when you put these together, you're saying, okay, this is, let's think about in terms of money. This is a dime and this is three pennies. 13 cents, 13 hundredths. And isn't this how we write 13 cents? Okay, so I, I strongly believe that relating decimals to money, something you're pretty familiar with, makes it a whole lot easier. Otherwise, this can become a little confusing. Um, and then we have here uh, where we do a number bond, that's the next thing, with the total written in decimal form and the parts written as fractions. So that you could see that 13 hundredths in decimal form is one-tenth and three-hundredths. Think of it as 13 cents is a dime and three pennies. All right, now we are equipped to go ahead and do B and C. So let's do that. Okay, so you see I, up in the corner there, I copied pretty bunch um, from uh, 1A so that we, uh, 3A rather, so we'd remember what we're doing here. Okay, so again, we have one meter. And what do we have shaded in here? Just look at the tenths. One, two, three tenths. Okay, we'll come to these hundredths in a minute. So we have three tenths. So that's where we can start. We can say, hey, we have three tenths of a meter. And then how many hundredths do we have here? Well, I think it's easier to see that two are not shaded uh, rather than counting. But yeah, so that means there's eight hundredths that are shaded. See how this works now? And when we put these together, okay, Let's, let's again think of it in terms of money. This is three dimes and eight pennies, right? Because 10 dimes, okay, and a dollar, 100 pennies and a dollar. So three dimes is 30 cents, eight pennies is eight cents. So 38 cents, 38 hundredths. Cent is the Latin root meaning hundredth, okay? So 38 cents, 38 hundredths, and we're still talking about of a meter. And now just to write that in decimal form, remember, you're going to write it so that 38 ends in the hundredths, hundredths place. So 0 0.38 meters, there it is, there's the hundredths place. That's where the 8 is. Now we'll take that 0 0.38, that 38 hundredths, and decompose it into these fractions that we already know. Hey, that's 3 tenths, three, a 3, oh, now you see the magic 
the three in the tenths place, three tenths. And that's, that's why we're doing this here. This actually is a very good, sensible thing to do. And an eight in the hundredth place. So in other words, we're asking like way back at the beginning of the year, like what's the value of a seven in the hundredths place? 700. What's the value of a seven in the hundred thousands place? 700,000. Same thing here. What's the value of the three in the tenths place? Its value is three tenths. What's the value of an eight in the hundredths place? Eight hundredths. Beauteous. Now we should be able to cruise through C. Cruise on, friends. One, two, three, four tenths of a meter. And then what do we have for hundredths? Looks like six to me. You got six? Okay, six hundredths meter. And so now we know how to put these together. Four dimes and six pennies. Forty cents, six cents. Forty-six cents. Forty-six hundredths. Cents means hundredths. Remember that. And we're still talking about of a meter. Write that in decimal form. 46 hundredths. We write it as 0 0.46 so that the 6 to 46 ends in the hundredths place. Meter. And to do our uh, number bond, that's what, that's what we call it, we say, hey, 46 hundredths is 4 tenths of 4 in the tenths place. That's its value. And 6 in the hundredths place. That's its value. Loveliness. Got a few more to do. Let's do it. Woo, doggies. I love me some shading. Oh, let the fun begin. On each meter stick, we're to shade in the amount shown. And then write the equivalent decimal. Nine-tenths meter. So nine out of these ten. Here we go. One, two, three. You do it neater than I'm doing it. I'm crazy. It's okay. I can afford to be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of ten. So the equivalent decimal is nine out of ten, nine tenths. A nine in the tenths place. Booyah. Here we go now. Okay. Now we got to slow down a little bit. So we have fifteen hundredths. This is just like what we did before. And I'm going to show you here. That would be one tenth and five hundredths. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that and then explain why. Because we have one, we have, we'll think in terms of money. We have one dime, 15 cents, right? We can say it's one dime and five pennies. We're not going to talk about nickels and quarters here really, okay? We're just going to stick with dimes and pennies because we're talking about tenths and hundredths, okay? So one dime and five pennies. One tenth, five hundredths makes 15 cents. Remember, cents means Hundreds, fifteen hundreds, fifteen cents. Um, so let's go ahead, since we're here, and go ahead and write that as a decimal, a decimal, dismal decimal, uh, fifteen hundredths. We'll stick in that M there. So that means we have one tenth. Now I got to do this one a little more slowly. All right, and now to do <sighs> how they make us sweat, I have to draw nine lines inside here that are relatively evenly spaced to you know decompose this into hundredths. All right. So here we go. One, two, this is going to be bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, I warned you. And then shade in. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm working on this, you know, computer tablet, so mine is of a necessity a little messier than yours. You can take the time and do that right. Because you have to turn this in. Ha, I don't. Sorry. All right. So 41 hundredths, so that one's all set. 41 hundredths. Let's do that same thing. We have four dimes, right? Four tenths. And then how many pennies? How many hundredths? We have one hundredth. All right, so we can go ahead and write that right out as a decimal. Go ahead. 41 hundredths is 41 hundredths. So that means four of these tenths, right? That's why we're doing decomposing it there. So you can see two three, four, and now again I have to do nine lines inside here to make ten partitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I'm going to shade in one of those. All right, so there's 41 hundredths. Great, we just have one more to do. Number five, let's do it. Well, I'm surprised they didn't give us a word problem here or something at the end. This is just kind of like more of the same here. 
So we're going to draw a number bond, which we did not only in problem three of this homework, but we did it ourselves in number four as well, and then write the total as the equivalent decimal. So look, we figured out, if you look at all four of these, the numerators are all two-digit numbers. That means that first number, which we can call tens for now, tells us how many tenths there are. So in 23 hundredths, that would be two tenths. And again, relating it to money, that's two dimes, right? 23 cents, you'd have two dimes and how many pennies? Three pennies, three hundredths. And now we're going to write the total as the equivalent decimal. And that just means we do, we have no ones. That's why we put the zero in the decimal point here. Because um, if, if you have a decimal point just kind of hanging, it's confusion, confusing. So that's why we do the, it's just a convention of mathematics that we place the zero in the ones place when there are no ones with a decimal. So 0 0.23 will give us 23 hundredths. And to be totally correct, I'm going to put the M for meters, even though we're not really doing anything with meters here. All right, now these last three should go much faster because we know we have three dimes and 38 cents, right? Three dimes and how many pennies? Eight pennies, eight cents, eight hundredths. How do we write this as a decimal? Well, we're going to do our zero point. We have no ones. And then 38 so that the eight lands in the hundredth place. 38 hundredths meters. Great. Uh, let's look at this one. We have how many dimes in 82 cents? Eight dimes writing smaller, and how many pennies? We have two pennies, two cents, two hundredths. Write this out as a decimal, 82 hundredths, 0 0.82. You see, so the two is in the hundredths place, 82 hundredths. And then lastly here, 76 cents. How many dimes? How many tenths? Seven dimes, seven tenths. And how many pennies? Six pennies, six cents, six hundredths. And so as a decimal, 76 hundredths is zero point, you got it, seven six. Well, look what you've gone and done, yeah. You completed another homework time. Congratulations. Nice work. I'll see you again on the flip side. It's once again homework time. Yeah.